I want to join a club and just be there, uh, like on my Steam Deck. Yeah, what's a Steam Deck? It's like um, like Valve, like Steam. Okay. They made a their own like Nintendo Switch, basically. What? Yeah, they did. Yeah, look it up. Steam Deck. Is it new? It's pretty new. The computing power is absurd. Really? Yeah, it's fucked up. Steam Deck. Yeah, which I know sounds like. Yeah. <laughs> I want like a try. toilet. No. Babe, I want to try some deck. I want to try some freaky shit. <laughs> yeah, dude, we're doing a Steam Deck. Do a Steam Deck on my chest. Someone was playing something handheld on a flight next to me. It was probably this. Yeah. Probably. It so looked, yeah, I was like, is that a PSP? What the fuck is that? Yeah. So I have it and the graphic resolution on this thing is insane. Remember this shit? Of course. Oh man. The the PISP. Yeah. The PS. So what do you play on it? On my Steam Deck? Yeah. <laughs> I just Why play does that Tetris. That sounds so funny. <laughs> on my Steam Deck. That's a ridiculous name. Yeah. Tetris. Did you watch that movie? Yeah, I did. Did you like it? Yeah, I did. I loved it. Yeah, it was, it was pretty fun. I wonder how much of it is embellished, but. I mean, I, I read the Wikipedia afterwards. It seemed like the story was pretty one to one. Pretty not one to one. I mean, I don't know how dramatic it was. I'm sure the negotiations weren't. That definitely didn't happen like that, but like, and I'm sure the fucking the guy wasn't like all snarky to KGB operatives or yeah, whatever. Exactly. Like, yeah. You guys are the kings of leaving yeah. the room. Yeah, yeah. He wasn't doing that. But I'm sure that like going to the Soviet Union at that time was probably pretty yeah. nerve wracking. Yeah, very bold. And I mean, I wonder if he actually went there like on a tourist visa and negotiated and like wasn't concerned about spending the rest of his life spoiler alert the guy who made tetris is dead (laughs) yeah (laughs) (laughs) oh what yeah (laughs) i don't think he is no he probably isn't he's probably fine no but uh this this is apple tv movie it's pretty it's pretty interesting it's really good man but everything that is apple is so over polished yeah how do they do that everything that they buy so good everything that they produce is so it's like oh, I mean, I, I'm saying it's not necessarily good. It's like over edited, over colored. I'll tell you why. Because when they, you know, <laughs> I have resources close to me. Okay. That have provided me details. Right. When they go to make shit, they hire the best of everything. Yeah, that's what. It's not even like they're trying to be this way, in in, in so much as like. When they set out, to, I mean, they do. Like when they set out to make stuff, they want the best of the best. But because they have the budget, this is just what happens. Yeah, they hire the greatest DPs, the greatest directors, the greatest colorists, and then this is like this, this is what you get. Yeah, movies no, on steroids, no, dude. That's what it is. There's no, there's no like grit, you know. Yeah, it's They're it's like perfect films. Yeah, really. <laughs> um, like it's same thing with shrinking. Have you seen that? No, yeah, with, pull that up. That's the one with uh, Jason Siegel. It's a good show, but it's almost like I'm like I get frustrated watching it because I'm like the writing is like too tight. Mm. The people, the characters are too cool. Got it. Too good. Yeah. Everything is like too fun. It's like too fun to watch. Right. That it makes you frustrated because you're like yeah, you're so it's so disconnected from reality. Yeah. Is anything ever good enough for us? Are we ever happy? <laughs> I mean, I enjoy I enjoy this show, but <laughs> Succession. I mean, that's one I can still like. That's a perfect show. Yeah, yeah, Let's absolutely perfect. We'll, we should talk about it. Uh, spoiler alert, guys. Kendall dies, unfortunately. Kendall uh, shoots his penis off and then bleeds out to yeah. death. Yeah, he kill he cuts his own balls off with with a golf ball. It's a very slow draining scene. How, what? I know it's. A, I'm sorry. I'm just being violent for no reason. Wait, no, wait, uh, how would that even work logistically? Maybe if you cutting smash his own balls it, off with a golf ball. If you beat it enough times till the skin broke, no, that, that wouldn't work. Yeah, you'd have to sharpen the golf ball. Yeah, yeah. Could you cut the ball in half? Yeah, that's then, what you could do. And then clamp it down with a vice so it bends, and then yeah, BME and then pain slowly Olympics. saw, and then go. you twist your balls up, yeah. right? So the and then just slowly saw that. Yeah. Part off, yeah. And what people don't know is your balls actually come off like play doh. Yeah, they're removable. Yeah, it's just like a piece of clay. You can just girls are always so surprised when they find that out. Yeah, we have different balls for different occasions. Yeah. Right now, I have my podcast balls on. Yeah. It's so embarrassing when a when a young woman is seeking to make you happy, and then she gives a little, you know, lick a maroo on the on the old sack, and then fucking 
oops. Yeah, they pop off. I'm like, oh, you hit the that? button. <laughs> it's like, oh, you took my mochi. <laughs> Give that back. <laughs> you hit the button. Yeah. You hit the latch. Don't hit the latch. You got to hook it back in. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> we can continue. Yeah. Yeah, when you ever see whenever you see truck nuts, that's actually the driver hanging his own nuts yes, out the back of his exactly. car. Exactly. <laughs> what is that looks like a vagina. <laughs> Yeah. Truck vaginas. They got to start making those. Yeah. Truck puss. Let's yeah, look that truck up. Puss. Look at truck vagina. Truck puss. <laughs> Just hanging a big old truck puss from the back of the car, dude. <laughs> <laughs> big old, big old set of labia. <laughs> Munch these. <laughs> <laughs> munch this i heard you're a munch yeah yeah look it up look at a truck vagina that's my truck clit yep yeah luke do you not yes, know yes dude yes oh my god on the toe yeah hip. Genius. Let's, let's go that is genius no that's dangerous do you, beaver beaver receiver, receiver. <laughs> fuck yeah that's the midwest for you beaver receiver wonder how many of these like how many of these women just walk out to their car and some fucking degenerate man shoving his nuts? <laughs> well, you remember that? Thinking it's a flashlight. Just you remember, remember that video of the flashlight in the exhaust and it's like. Yeah, yeah, of course, <laughs> of course, of course. That's a classic. We filmed that at my house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Beaver receiver. <clears throat> I want to put one of these on my fucking SUV and just drive around. Yeah. Damn it. There was a, I, we saw some some dude in a big ass truck driving around. He had a bumper sticker that was like, st- uh, straight, cis, Catholic gun owner. How else can I piss you off today? <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah, dude. Shit rules. Got him. <laughs> Got him. Owned. Owned, man. Way to own the libs. Libs owned, man. Yeah. I would have pulled him next to him and been like, hey, man, I just want to let you know I'm a lib and you fucking owned me today. Yeah, yeah, dude. Bow down. I'm pissed off right yeah, now. I'm fucking upset. You freaking piss me off. Yeah. Yeah, just beaming at him. Just, ooh. <sighs> and he's like, oh, baby, you're so fucking mad right <laughs> yeah. now. I'm pissed. Are you pissed? <sighs> yeah, you don't like my big diesel car? That's making you angry? <laughs> it was making me so angry. <laughs> How many guns you got in the back? I got fucking five. Oh, oh you're so mad right now. I'm peeved. Oh, you're so upset. Yeah. So, succession. Success. Thoughts. I can't do those. <laughs> yeah, nah. Yeah. Try it. You got it. And my fingers are too stiff. Just leave it loose. I've had practice. Yeah. Back in my dipping days. <laughs> is that a re- is that a prerequisite? When you go to buy the dip, they're like, hey, show us your... No, that's how you learn how to do it, though. Oh, got it. Because you smack the top of the dip thing to, ah, to make it all packed to one side. I see. So you can grab a nice pinch. <laughs> <laughs> Truly, that's the way it works. You need a nice compact pinch and then you <laughs> put it right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wrap your lip around it. There's an art to it. Honestly, it's an art form. Oh, yeah, no. Because if you don't do it like that, it gets all over your mouth and then you're swallowing little tobacco flakes. It's the right. worst. Right. But if you do it nice and get a nice pinch and then <laughs> pop it in there. Yeah. You're sailing. This is so crazy. You're just like sucking on cancer fiber. <laughs> no, I know. It's crazy. It's, it's, it has, so nuts. it's so nuts. It has like fiber, like little shards of fiberglass yeah. in it, yeah. which cut your lips so that the <laughs> tobacco gets inside your bloodstream, I think. What? I mean, yeah. that might be like an urban myth, but that's what people have always said about dip. Yeah, dude. And if you do it too much, you get like sores. Why don't they just fucking, why don't they just put like asbestos in like strawberry soda? It's like a... Yeah. Mm. I guess it wouldn't get you high. I don't know. Yeah, it wouldn't get you high. Just get, that would just give you cancer. Yeah. Yeah. Which is the end goal. 